असैम इज ड्राउनिंग यू माइट से हा सो हैपन्स एवरी ईयर वॉट्स न्यू वेल दिस ईयर इट्स बैड really really bad images have been coming in for the past week of people using makeshift rafts to go around cars breaking down and drowning security forces filling up boats with people clutching their belongings and hanging on for dear life helpless people being carried to safety wading through water houses being washed away and marooned people inside houses sitting on tables waiting to be rescued it's bad Floods in Assam this year have affected more than 42 lakh people that's 13% of the entire population of the state as of recording this 71 people have died and 8 have gone missing 32 of the state's 35 districts have been affected Barpeta is the worst hit district with over 12.7 lakh people suffering lakhs of people have been displaced they are running out of food and drinking water over 29 lakh domestic animals and poultry have been affected because of grazing grounds going under water we need to ask some big questions about the flood in assam that just seems to be getting worse every year why does flooding happen what is the government doing about it also why is the tv media not talking about this let's talk about some basic 8th grade geography first Assam has rivers such as Brahmaputra and Barak with various tributaries flowing all through it. Given its topography, Assam is lower in height compared to other neighboring states. So, water flows from those states downwards. It's like a bathtub with a tap kept on and the drain is also open so it relatively maintains a level of water. Water goes in and water comes out at more or less the same pace. But in monsoon, things change when a hose pipe is added and everything goes nuts when the sun is directly perpendicular to the tropic of cancer the indian subcontinent gets heated up and develops a low pressure area the ocean is still relatively cooler so winds go from high pressure to low pressure which means this these winds pick up moisture from the bay of bengal and when they hit the coast they let loose meaning it starts raining like crazy in northeastern states especially meghalaya and arunachal pradesh These are videos from Mosinram and Cherapunji in Meghalaya which have smashed rainfall records for June this year. Cherapunji has recorded its highest rainfall of the last 27 years. What Cherapunji got in 3 days Mumbai gets in its entire monsoon season. That is what a hose pipe being turned on in the bathtub looks like. Assam which is downstream immediately feels the effects after the Brahmaputra swells up causing massive flooding. This year Assam also received 62% above normal rainfall from March to May adding to the problem. This is the highest recorded rainfall in the last 10 years. All of this makes 40% of the area of the state prone to floods. Now there is another problem adding to this. The tub is getting bigger. Why? soil erosion brahmaputra is a constantly changing river whenever there is heavy flow loose soil starts falling off the banks and flowing away with the river water causing the land around it to completely transform this is a time lapse of brahmaputra near nangao from 1984 till 2020 just look at how the flow changes and the river expands reports indicate that the brahmaputra river has destroyed nearly 4000 square kilometers in the last 5 decades that slightly more than the entire area of goa erosion is happening at the rate of 80 square kilometers per year over time this has wiped out more than 2500 villages affecting nearly 5 lakh people but wait we aren't done yet because there is one more thing we need to talk about you see the room that this tub is in well it's getting hotter it's having some crazy effects on the tap the hose and the tub why climate change Remember how I told you about the land getting hotter in summer and wind carrying water from ocean to the land? Yeah, so climate scientists say that as the temperature goes up, the land gets way more hot and the winds bring in much more moisture. The volume of atmospheric moisture increases with rising temperatures because warmer air tends to hold more moisture and for longer. So, our hose pipe is getting bigger each year too. 
A 2021 study ranks Assam as one of the five states that are highly vulnerable to extreme climate events such as floods and droughts. Not only are these things getting worse because of climate change, but the adaptability of the population to such changes is very low. What is the government doing about this though? Every time flooding happens, the army, paramilitary forces, national disaster response force, which is NDRF, and state disaster response force, which is SDRF, set up relief camps. Currently, a total of 862 relief camps have been set up by the respective district administrations, where over 2.6 lakh people are taking shelter. This is a makeshift solution at best because every time the floods get worse, more resources are required to deal with it. Successive governments in Assam have also built embankments along the river to control how the river flows. And this is a problem. Over time, these embankments have become useless. 295 out of 423 embankments have crossed their lifespans of 25 years. That's nearly 70% of the total. The government has announced this year that it plans to build an additional 1000 kilometers of embankments along the river. Again, this is a temporary solution. There are also allegations of corruption around embankment building contracts, which needs to be dealt with really fast. Environmentalists point out that the long-term solution is to adapt a basin-wide approach. Just focusing on Assam wouldn't work because the Brahmaputra flows through China, Bhutan, India and Bangladesh. They recommend an international effort by these four countries to figure out how to properly control the flow of the river during monsoons. And there is some movement on this front. In 2017, the Brahmaputra River Symposium was held in New Delhi, which for the first time brought together 150 stakeholders from these four countries to figure out a solution. The South Asia Water Initiative and World Bank are pushing for this. The hope is that these four countries would forget geopolitical complexities and work together to quickly come up with a plan. Because during this time period, the number of affected districts in the state have gone up from 14 to 32. We need a solution really fast. Now, why isn't the mainstream media covering all of this? Two reasons. One, they are busy with this garbage. Snake Island is a place where the Black Sea is necessary for both of them. And that's why Ukraine is taking a full effort to get back to Snake Island on any way. When the Prime Minister was in the house, 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 what was the mother's face? Today, if our country's people have a strong doctor and a strong doctor from one of the strong doctors and a strong doctor from one of the strong doctors, then our country's people will be the strong doctor from one of the strong doctors. क्योंकि हलवाई डॉक्टर की तरह कड़वी गोलियां खाने के लिए नहीं कहेगा एंड टू फ्लड्स इन असैम इज अ बोरिंग स्टोरी दे वॉन्ट आई बॉल्स एंड आई बॉल्स टेंट टू गेट टायर्ड ऑफ सींग द सेम थिंग अगेन एंड अगेन Even if it gets worse, it gets ignored. Advertisers don't want to fund channels that show the same boring things every year. But that's what we are here for and so are our subscribers. If you want to get a full picture of the flood situation in Assam and how the people in the Brahmaputra Basin are affected by it, I highly recommend you read this series of reports on News Laundry by Supriti David. Link is below. Given the current state of the mainstream media, the more Assam floods, the less people seem to know. Let's change that maybe? The subscription model is something that keeps news on your float, but we need hundreds of thousands of people to completely transform the news ecosystem. So you pay for news, so it serves you. So click on the link with this video, subscribe to News Laundry and pay to keep news free. And say, my money is free. خبریں